Okay, I've never seen this video. I've seen this video on my on my recommended a lot, uh, but I've never actually gone out of my way to watch it. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna watch this video. Um, let me turn the music off. It's time, boys. I've had it. Not uh. Listen, listen. I'm tired of the Dragon Ball and and, and Goku disrespect. To all the people that say, oh, this person can beat Goku. Yo, have not seen Dragon Ball, obviously. Let me school you. Hopefully this video does, does Goku justice. It's called, it's called, How Strong Is Manga Goku? I've never seen this video, like I said. I've seen it recommended to me several times. But here's the, today's the day we finally watch it, bro. Y'all don't even know how strong this man is. Let, let your boy Monokage school you real quick and show you how strong and overpowered goku is let's do this I, I, i'm getting tired of this shit i'm tired of the goku disrespect. in dragon ball super there are many differences between the anime and the manga but one okay okay i know who this is actually just just by listening to this guy's voice i've heard i've seen his uh i've seen his tiktoks so you guys probably have too right, let's do this one thing that they have in common is that goku's strength is ridiculous at the start of the yep. dragon ball super manga goku <clears throat> was the strongest fighter on earth after defeating the personification of evil majin buu goku continues to get stronger as he uses visual image training to fight his greatest foes defeating the emperor of the universe frieza who has stated multiple times to be able to destroy the entire universe defeating the embodiment of perfection cell who has stated to be able to destroy the entire solar system with solar system yes okay let's let, look 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 Guys, guys, look, really quickly, I'm going to score you before he actually scores you guys. So, at the beginning, the beginning of Dragon Ball Z, Piccolo destroys the entire moon, and not just destroys it, like, like he doesn't just blast it and then, like, it breaks up into little pieces. No, he obliterates the moon to the point where there's nothing left. Nothing. Okay? So, the, and that's at the... Beginning of Dragon Ball Z, bro. The beginning. When when Gohan's a little fucking five-year-old crying like a little bitch, bro. That's Piccolo. That ain't even Goku. That's Piccolo at the beginning, bro. The beginning. They haven't even fought Frieza. Goku hasn't even gone Super Saiyan. They haven't even fought Cell. They don't even know about Super Saiyan 2. They haven't gone Super Saiyan 3. Haven't even fought Boo. Haven't even fought Beerus. Not even Super Saiyan God. At this point, at the beginning, they can already destroy planets. And not just destroy them, but to the point where there's nothing left. Do you guys not understand? The people that disrespect Dragon Ball, y'all don't understand. At the beginning, they'd have been able to do this. And now, they can destroy multiverses with ease. Nah, I've had it. Okay, let's let, let me score you. Let me score you. ...in Dragon Ball being stated to be a galactic nebula, with nebula being composed of innumerable stars. Goku even fights against Buu himself, who was stated in the Buu Saga to be able to destroy the entire universe in a... Boom! Boom! Buu has been stated to be able to destroy the entire universe. The universe. Something that is infinite. Goku killed him. Goku killed him with a spirit bomb. Goku killed a universal level threat. When has Luffy, Naruto, or Ichigo ever done that? Never. Never. And, and, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. That was only in Z. That's not even Super. That's not even Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan Blue. Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. Ultra Instinct. Y'all sleep on Goku. Sleep on this man. And Goku is able to do all of this using his Super Saiyan form alone. But among the stars, an even greater power has awoken after 39 years. Beerus the Destroyer is traveling throughout the universe. No, listen, Ace, that's that, that's the point. That's the whole point. That's that's what I'm saying. So when people say, oh, Luffy can beat Goku. Goku has destroyed a universal level threat. Do you guys not understand what I'm saying? Goku has destroyed a universal level threat. Nobody else has done that in the big three, bro. It ain't happening. Goku's him. Universe in search of his greatest rival, a Saiyan enveloped in divine energy, a Super Saiyan God. Beerus learns of the existence of Son Goku and travels to King Kai's planet to confront him, with Goku also learning of the existence of the God of Destruction and wants to test his power against the God. Goku and Beerus are now face to face and now it's time to see who's the strongest, the hope of the universe, 
versus the universe's destroyer. Goku uses Super Saiyan 3 and gets completely destroyed in only two blows, with Goku knowing that the only- Yes, okay, okay. No, this is good. This is really good, because at the beginning of Super, Beerus and Goku fight. This is before he, Goku gets Super Saiyan God. Goku gets obl obliterated, bro. Like, he gets, he gets destroyed. And this is him post Boo arc, post a universal threat. And Beerus just fucking flicks him away, bro. Flicks him away with, like, he didn't even sweat. Like, didn't even try. And then he gets Super Saiyan Blue, Ultra Instinct, and can possibly now, I don't know, we don't know, can maybe beat Beerus. I don't know. And Beerus is, like, beyond universal. He's multiversal, bro. Multiversal. Has to be way to win is to find this Super Saiyan God. Shenron tells the Z Fighters that the original Super Saiyan God performed a ritual to achieve his power. Five pure-hearted Saiyans must infuse their light into a six. All of the Saiyans put their power into Son Goku, and after thousands of years, the Super Saiyan God is born once again. Goku and Beerus have their battle of the gods with their fight going higher and higher, but the clashing of two gods' fists is the end of us all. Old Kaya, being that resides in the Kaioshin realm that exists outside of the macrocosm, states that their clashes will destroy the entirety of Universe 7. With the Universe 7 macrocosm being comprised of seven different space times and was stated multiple times that each realm was infinite in size. Did you guys just hear what he said? Do you guys want me to backtrack here? Here, all two. Let, let me let me just reiterate and double down on what he just said real quick. Let me just go back a couple seconds here. The Shin realm that exists outside of the macrocosm states that their clashes will destroy the entirety of Universe Seven. Okay, when Goku, I don't know if you okay for the people that have actually seen Dragon Ball Super, when Beerus and Goku are fighting in space and they keep hitting each other's fist, if they would have kept doing that, the entire universe would have been destroyed. So if Goku wasn't universal at that point, he's universal at that point when he's fighting Beerus, okay? He's universal, bro, when he's fighting Beerus. They could have destroyed the universe. And then, and then, hear what he says. With the Universe 7 macrocosm being comprised of seven different space times and was stated multiple times that each realm was infinite in size. Okay. In the Universe 7 universe where Goku resides, there are seven different little other realms that are infinite in size. Goku can destroy infinity. Are y'all not? <laughs> y'all don't understand. Luffy can be Goku. Gear 5 Luffy. Baron mode Naruto. Uh, Ichigo, Ichigo, a uh, thousand forward. No. Saitama can be Goku. No. No, they can't. No. They can't. They can't even touch this man. They can't even touch him. And this is just Goku in the Super Saiyan God arc. My, my, he hasn't even gotten around to Super Saiyan Blue. Hasn't even got Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. Hasn't even gone to Ultra Instinct, bro. Just wait. Just wait. I've had it. I've had it. We're cooking right now, boys. We're cooking on all these, all these, all these fa all these people who think Goku can be beaten. Nah! It ain't happening. With the afterlife itself being stated in the Dai Zenshu 4 World Guide to be a transcendental realm beyond the infinity of the living universe and was stated to be beyond the concepts of space and time multiple times. Goku loses the god form, but contrary to common belief, the power did not leave him, but instead infused itself into Goku's base form. As it was stated in the draft. So now, listen, so yes, he does regain Super Saiyan God later on. But after he fights Beerus, he loses the ability to go Super Saiyan God, like, on, a, at will. So after he loses the ability to go Super Saiyan God at will, that power still resides within him, though. And so his base form is as strong as his Super Saiyan God was when he fought Beerus. So in base form, we're lowballing. I'm just lowballing, bro. In base form, Goku is universal, 100% universal, Post Beerus fight. I do agree that Naruto nor Ichigo can beat him, but Luffy right now does ha does have a shot. Ace. Ace. Guys, 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 help me convince Ace. Help me convince Ace. Do you know Toon Force though? I do agree Goku wins. Yeah, no, no, no. I, no, no, no. I agree. At Japan, we were we were discussing how, how Luffy's Gear 5 potentially could work. Uh and, and I understand how the toon toon power works. I understand that. But based off of what we've seen so far from Luffy, Goku clears. Goku clears. Now, I don't know, like I said earlier, because Toon powers are a little weird. Toon powers are weird. Uh, I, I, 
when you when you say toon powers the limit to toon powers in my opinion is these motherfuckers like ripping open their manga leaving their manga going somewhere else because these motherfuckers have like are invincible i don't know how to, i don't know how to explain it but like looney tunes type shit bro like they can like just leave their show or leave their anime whenever they want that's how i think that's like the limit of toon powers i think but we just don't know how strong luffy is because we never really we haven't seen his full power uh in gear 5 so based off of what we've seen of gear 5 goku still clears easily there's no competition Dragon Ball Super anime comic, which is canon to the manga, that Super Saiyan Blue is unlocked when a Saiyan with the power of a god goes Super Saiyan. And even in the moral arc of the Dragon Ball- Boom! Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, I know, I, I'm sorry I keep pausing it, but I, I'm gonna say something really quickly. I don't know if you guys know this, but Super Saiyan 1, regular Super Saiyan, is a 50, 5 zero times multiplier on your base form. So... Goku goes Super Saiyan, Goku in his base form is universal at this point. Is universal. Super Saiyan 1 is 50 times stronger than that. Super Saiyan 2 is 2 times stronger than that. And Super Saiyan 3 is another 4 times stronger on that. Plus, Super Saiyan God. And then when he goes Super Saiyan, it's another, uh, Super Saiyan Blue. It's another 50 times, or it could be, I don't even know. Oh, like, that's what I'm saying, bro. These numbers that Goku has are insane. Insane. So, let's just, let's just say. Post, post Beerus fight, Goku, Goku has the power of Super Saiyan God in his base form, in his base form. He's, he's at least as strong as a universe. He can destroy a universe. Super Saiyan 1, just, just Super Saiyan 1 on that is 50 times stronger. 50 times! That's 50 universes! Yo, you guys not, do you guys not understand? Y'all don't understand! 50 universes! Bruh. Bruh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It ain't happening. Nobody can he beat Goku. No, he can't. No, no, I'm sorry. Nobody beating Goku. Nope. Sorry, wrong, wrong thing. Super can't beat Goku. Dende says he couldn't restore base Goku's power because his energy was divine. Goku trains with the angel Whis and unlocks Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan with blue hair dye, Super Saiyan Blue. Goku meets the brother of Beerus Champa, the destroyer of the six universe. Game over for Luffy, I agree. Beerus was stated that they could destroy the entire universe as well. Goku ends up fighting against Universe 6's strongest warriors and is now face to face with the universe. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, this is really good. This is really good. This will really help against Luffy's little toon powers too. Goku is faster than time. Okay, let, let, let my boy cook real quick. Let him cook. Assassin Hit, who has the ability to time skip one tenth of a second into the future, literally arriving before he left. Unlike the anime where Goku uses Kaioken and is able to force himself through Hit's time skip, manga Goku is able to beat Hit using Super Saiyan God alone. As Whis explained, Ah! Anime Goku, it took Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. In the manga, Goku is able to beat Hit and his time abilities in Super Saiyan God. Not even blue. Bro. 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 Y'all, y'all are tripping. If you guys really think, nah, 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 listen, Japan, listen, Japan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have, listen, I will, I'll play Devil's Advocate. I'll be honest with you. I haven't seen JoJo's Part 5. I think that's the one where with Giorno and Golden Experience Requiem. I haven't seen that. So I can't really tell you. But the based off the knowledge I know about Goku is I don't think he beat Goku. I don't think he beat Goku. Means that his ability only works on opponents who are near or below his level, and explains why he was able to beat Vegeta, as Vegeta wasn't even using 10% of Blue's strength due to the energy output. Goku ends up fighting against Fu Zamasu, which is the combination. Which of is an immortal, by the way. By the way, by the way. Okay, I don't. I don't really remember how the uh, the manga ends this arc, but. Zamasu, uh, Fuse Zamasu is immortal. He is immortal. You he cannot die. He literally cannot die. But I, I don't really remember. I do know how it ends in the manga, which is really stupid because Zeno comes in and destroys him because Zeno is Zeno. Um, but I don't really know how they ended in the manga. I'm not too sure. We're about to find out. Supreme Kai Zamasu and the Saiyan copycat Goku Black. Goku in this fight is able to perfect Super Saiyan Blue and matches the power of a fusion. But that's when Goku pulls out a technique that. Did you guys just hear that? Goku in Super Saiyan Blue matches the power of himself, himself, and Zamasu. He's stronger than himself? What? Yes. Yes. Keep cooking. Keep cooking. Let's let him cook more. Nobody saw coming. 
As he jumps into the air, he puts his hand in Zamasu's face, hoping that this technique will allow him to kill immortal beings. A familiar energy surrounds Goku, the energy of a destroyer. Ha Akai. Goku's oh! Go! Okay, listen, listen, listen. My boy has the power of a de god of destruction. He can literally disintegrate you. This is the kind of power that can beat Luffy. Even though Luffy's in gear five, this is the, this is like a Thanos snap. It's like Thanos snapping. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you do. You're going to disintegrate. This is the kind of shit that could beat Luffy. He was able to utilize the energy of destruction with this energy being so potent that it erases you as if you never existed. Zamasu has had enough and states that he's going to destroy every parallel world in existence that includes every single timeline to fulfill his zero mortal plan, with his demise only being met by the hands of the Omni King himself. Goku arrives at the tournament. No quick question, Where, where's all the One Piece fans now? Where's all the Luffy dick riders now? Where's all the Gear 5 Luffy saying they could be Goku? Where's all the Saitama lovers that they that say they could that Saitama could be Goku? Where is everybody? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. If I cooked enough, I mean we still have what? We're not even halfway done with this video yet, boys. We're not even halfway done. And it looks like it looks like the chat's dead. It looks like everybody's being real quiet right now. Goku beats Saitama. I agree. I agree. Manga Saitama solos? Pixelation. You don't understand. Uh, Golden Experience Requiem's power are so confusing, but his stand is automatic. So if Giorno gets hit, uh, it just activates. His ability literally just stops the attacker's attacks and puts the enemy in an infinite death loop. Well, what if he doesn't touch you, though? Does, does it still work, uh, Japan? Like, w like, what if Goku did a Kamehameha? Like, that's, he's not technically touching him physically. It's just like a beam attack. Tournament of Power and is face to face with Jiren the Grey, a fighter from the 11th universe who was stated to be stronger than his own God of Destruction, with the Gods of Destruction themselves being stated to have power that transcends dimensions. In this fight, Goku is getting completely overwhelmed by this embodiment of strength, and that's when he taps into something, well, faster than anyone can see, Goku gets behind Jiren, and an angelic glow envelops his body. Goku is able to achieve the technique of the angels, the form the gods themselves cannot reach. Migatano no Goku, autonomous ultra instinct. Go Bro, this guy's cooking right now. This guy's cooking. Uh, but he's attacking, so it happens anyway. Um, 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 um. How much, you, how much damage do you think a key blast would do? I mean, it's Goku, so he can output however much key he wants. I mean, this is what I'm saying. Like, a key blast for Goku could just destroy a rock, but it, he, if he really wanted to, he can also uh, create another key blast that can destroy m multiple universes in one key blast. This is like this is the kind of shit I'm saying. Uh, I feel like pulling my hair out every time someone says Saitama or Luffy can beat Goku. It, yeah, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. Goku is able to fight against Jiren and his Ultra Instinct is progressing, getting stronger and stronger to the point where he crosses the door into mastery. Jiren attacks Goku, but that's just what he needed as everyone in the entire stage is shocked as Goku has his fist in Jiren's stomach at age 780 of the universe calendar. Okay, but what about this though? Like what about, I, like I said, Japan, I don't really understand how Golden Experience Requiem works. I'm assuming when he's in the infinite death loop, it's almost like a domain expansion. That's kind of how I understand it. I could be totally wrong. But what if Goku is like Ultra Instinct? He also at that point can't be hit. Especially when he's Master Ultra Instinct. He really can't be hit. On this day, a mortal named Son Goku achieved Mastered Ultra Instinct. Goku in the state of mastery is able to completely body Jiren with Jiren breaking... Anime God, did you just say Goku is galactic level, not universal? Did you not just watch the entire video with us? This man is literally multi- is multiversal. This man it, Yeah, pretty much galactic? What? Are you- are we- are we watching the different- guys, are we watching two different videos? Because the video I'm watching, it, it's already been stated this man is multiversal. Anti-spiral? I don't know who that is. I think I know who that is. That's the guy from Mugen, but it's a, it's a fucking guy from Mugen, who cares? I don't like about anti spiral. Through his limits, and now they're fighting for the fates of both. The Goku is planetary? Oh, you, yeah, okay, we definitely aren't watching the same video. I don't really know how his ability works either, but Giorno wouldn't be able to get hit just like Goku, pretty much. See, th see th this is the thing. This is the thing with people who say Goku can be beaten. For example, Giorno. People always, I always see a lot of people say Giorno could be Goku. 
Y'all motherfuckers don't even understand how his power works. Hey, nobody even understands how his power works. I understand how strong Goku is, and we're still going. We still have half the video to go, and he's already multiversal, faster than the speed of light. So, listen, I know how Goku, I know how strong Goku is. I don't know how, how Gold Experience Record Rewards. So, if I'm going about, if I'm going based on feats, feats and knowledge, Goku wins. Goku still wins. He still wins, bro. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. Of their universes, the silver glow leaves his eyes, and Universe 7 wins the tournament of power. It's not yet perfected. Goku, after the tournament of power, fights against the legendary Super Saiyan Broly and trains to the point where Wee says that nobody in the universe is stronger than Goku and Vegeta. However, a being who's been in prison for 10 million years has escaped. Moro, the planet eater, is traveling. Oh, here we go, boys. Here we go to shit that I don't even know about right now. Eating planets becoming stronger and stronger. Goku ends up training with another angel, Whis's brother Mirus, who's been undercover as a galactic patrol member and helps Goku master his ultra instinct. Goku has become so powerful after his training with Mirus that when he arrives on the battlefield, he's so fast that not even Gohan and Piccolo can keep up with his movements and face. Are you guys listening to this? Are you listening to this? Motherfuckers that are lowballing. This is lowballing because this is Gohan and Piccolo post tournament of power, which means they've been training. This is lowballing. Piccolo and Gohan, solar system level. That is the ultimate lowball. Honestly, they're probably universal as well. I would even doubt that Pic that Gohan is universal at this point. Universal level strength users can't even proceed. Can't even see Goku. That's how fast he is. These people are universal level and can't even see Goku. Bro, Luffy will not be able to even, won't even know what, ha what happened, bro. He'd just be dead. Wait, like, as soon as they step on the battlefield, Luffy was, is already dead. He didn't, he wasn't, he didn't, he didn't even make it to the battlefield, bro. He didn't even get, he didn't even get to take a, the step onto the battlefield. He's already dead. Ace form as they were able to keep up with Master Ultra Instinct Goku's movements in the tournament. Goku is able to utilize Ultra Instinct Omen and fights against an even younger and more powerful Moro who has absorbed and eaten countless planets. However, it's still not enough as Goku's defensive abilities completely outmatch his offensive side. Moro eats 73 who has the ability to copy his opponents by touching them with the shard in his hand. Ayo, pause. Ayo, touching them, pause and becomes 7-3 Moro. Mirus decides Goku needs a push, a way back into the door of mastery. Mirus attacks Moro and destroys the shards in his hand, but not before Moro is able to grab Mirus' neck and copies his abilities. Mirus punches the final shard in Moro's head, but since angels are not allowed to fight in mortal affairs, this is the end. Mirus looks back at the hope of the universe, his friend and Damn. tells Goku that he's come to love this galaxy, this universe full of excitement. Damn. Please, protect it all. Mirus is erased from Damn. existence and Goku stands there as his friend disintegrates before his- Damn! Life. I didn't even know this happened. Needed to achieve this. Goku erupts with energy and it's so fierce that it could be felt by every- The plot armor? The plot armor? Hey, listen, I don't want to hear nothing about plot armor, Ace. Luffy got his shit rocked four times against Kaido. Four times. And then on the fifth time, he got his shit beat again. And then he just magically, he magically went gear five. I don't want to hear nothing about plot armor, okay? I, I don't want to hear nothing. Everyone on the battlefield and even people miles away. But then it stops. Silence. Standing in the eye of the hurricane is perfection and now we see the technique of the angels in its true angelic light perfected ultra instinct goku perfected ui goku is so powerful that he's able to completely body moro blitzing him and throwing him across the battlefield both his offensive and defensive side are fighting in complete and but um uh, might i add that this version of moro is is stronger than jiren who is stronger than the god of destruction in his universe who a god of destruction is multiversal so this guy is stronger than multiversal all shonen protagonists have plot armor yeah no i agree with that to be fair to a certain extent every main character damn near ever maybe besides guts but even guts has plot armor bro like every you can say that you can say plot armor for Every single character ever. Luke Skywalker has plot armor. Like, every fucking character has plot armor, bro. 
utter unison as every attack and every block happens on instinct. The gap in strength between Goku and Moro is so great that even though Goku says Moro is the strongest opponent he's ever faced and even gives him a sensu bean to recharge his power, Moro attacks Goku and shatters his arm on his chest. Do you guys see this? This man Moro is stronger than multiversal, yet Goku is railing his cheeks and Goku was clapping his shit so hard he gave Moro a sensu bean to heal up so Goku can fight him again and when Goku decided to let Moro hit him he shattered his hand yo I y'all don't understand y'all are just are we watching the same video now I understand Luffy is made out of rubber so this the shattering his hand probably wouldn't affect him but for everybody else Saitama Ichigo, Naruto, whoever else. Fucking, y'all are saying Tandra. Why the fuck are you guys saying Tandra? Come on, guys. Chest. Moro gains the power of Mirus the Angel and becomes Angelic Moro, with him being able to just match Ultra Instinct Goku's power. However, the power above the gods is too much for him to handle, and he has to infuse himself with the entire planet, detonating the entire galaxy. Goku is able to defeat Moro using an Ultra Instinct Susano, and once again becomes the only mortal in existence to have mastered Ultra Instinct. Later on, Goku ends up fighting against the strongest in the universe, the Survivor Gurn. Granola, with Granola making a wish to the Namekian Dragon Balls to become the strongest in the universe. With Go Look at that. I just want to let you guys know. I actually haven't seen this. This arc. I don't know nothing about this arc. But if we're going by what we just saw, he just wished to be the strongest in the universe. Stronger than Beerus. Stronger than Whis. Stronger than Goku. Stronger than Jiren. Well, I guess it's just this universe. So uh, stronger than Whis. Stronger than, than Beerus. This man just wished to be stronger than all of those people. So I just want to let you guys know, you know, I just want to let you guys know how strong Granola is here. Goku at this point getting so good at Ultra Instinct that he's able to use it in his other forms, including his base form. Goku fights against Granola and shows that he can access Mastered Ultra Instinct at will. However, an even greater enemy has arised, becoming the strongest in the universe, Gas. Gas is so powerful that he's able to take on Goku and Vegeta at the exact same time. And Goku figures out that the only way to match Gas's power is to put emotion back into his fighting. Goku is able to unlock a new version, his own version of Ultra Instinct, True Ultra Instinct Goku. In this form, Goku's able to be- Bro! See, bro, he's just- he, Like, Goku is stacking his power on top of each other. Like, at first, at first, it was just Super Saiyan God. You guys remember all the way back at the beginning of the video? Goku absorbed Super Saiyan God into his base form. And now, many, many, many arcs later, this man is incorporating Ultra Instinct into his base form. And on top of that, he's going like Super Saiyan, Kaioken, Ultra Instinct, on top of all that. Y'all motherfuckers are delusional if you think Luffy, Naruto, Ichigo, Saitama can beat Goku. Like, literally delusional. It ain't happening. He's slightly stronger than the strongest in the universe and shows once again that this Saiyan Boom boom proves that Goku at least in his universe is the strongest is the strongest bro He beats the strongest in the universe has no limits looking back Goku has come a long way since his battle with the god of destruction and now possesses power that's greater than the gods themselves the lowest class warrior to the highest tier god the angel that was born on earth the saiyan son Goku what's up guys it's divine if you guys bro I okay listen 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 I don't know how much more proof we need I'm disappointed in everyone saying Luffy or Saitama beats Goku after watching this. Yeah, uh, I, I truly just don't believe you guys at this point. I just don't believe that you guys are actually... I, I, I think you guys are just delusional. I think I don't think you guys actually believe what you're saying at all. I, I, I'm sorry. You guys can say whatever you want. They're, you guys are delusional and you guys do not believe what you guys are saying. 